This dog refuses to let the infant child sleep. The parents call the police after they discover something strange. After Jenny gave birth to a healthy and lovely daughter, life at home for Sam and Jenny became much more complicated than usual. Scott, the family dog, has been a game changer ever since. Scott refused to let his daughter sleep in her own room. And after they were physically separated, she continued to bark. The realization of what was happening gave Sam the worst jolt of his life. Right away, he dialed 911, and a whole police contingent arrived. The first police officer on the scene was shocked by what he saw. A dog couldn't possibly have seen this, right? Sam was informed that he should be pleased with such a perceptive pet, but he was aware that he had failed in his duty to protect his daughter and realized that he should have been the one to take the blame. Within a few minutes, more police vehicles had arrived. They began grilling Sam and Jenny on the spot. They were taken aback, but the pair persisted. Prior to this point, they were unaware of the seriousness of the issue. The reason the police were called was worrisome enough, but the fact that it had begun while Jenny was pregnant made it clear that they had made a terrible mistake in who they trusted. Hello, famous videos on the internet. Please hit that subscribe button and those bells so we can keep making videos like this one. The most stunning, mind-blowing, and downright terrifying films are posted here daily. All right, let's start the video. That Jenny was finally expecting was the catalyst for all that followed. They've been wanting this for a long time. Nonetheless, they had some apprehensions about Scott, the family dog, and her response to the newborn. Jenny had heard some terrible tales of dogs that refused to take in a new member of the family. If Scott didn't agree to this, Jenny and Sam were going to take him to an animal shelter immediately. Scott began barking at Jenny's tummy incessantly once she became aware that she was pregnant. After that, she began acting quite strangely, suggesting that she was not enjoying her pregnancy. Because they could not pinpoint the cause of Jenny's bizarre conduct, the fear he felt intensified. Do you think Scott felt unsafe? Do you think Scott sensed something was wrong with the baby and Jenny needed to find out the truth quickly to save the child? Jenny requested that Sam take Scott to the vet to make sure that the dog was healthy before they were forced to make a decision between their newborn child and their puppy. It would be difficult to decide whether or not to bring Scott to a shelter if she couldn't take care of him. But they knew in their hearts that if they had to make a decision, it would be the latter. They did this to ensure that their daughter was always protected. The veterinarian, however, offered no new insights. He examined the dog to ensure it was healthy. Not a single thing was incorrect. She must have felt something strange with the baby, he said Sam, urging him to take Jenny in for tests. Sam broke the news to Jenny, and she immediately burst into tears, certain that something seriously was wrong. Scott had undoubtedly picked up on something odd about the infant. Took all of Jenny's might to phone the doctor, but he insisted that she come in right away. Jenny asked the pregnant woman she had been helping out around the home during her pregnancy to come over and take her to her buddy, who was there for her virtually every day. After just a few minutes, she arrived to accompany her companion to the emergency room. When she got there, the front desk let her in. The doctor ran a battery of tests to make sure mother and child were healthy, and although the ultrasound and other examinations came back negative, the doctor was still unconvinced. As of yet, they have not discovered the solutions they sought. After returning home, Jenny began weeping uncontrollably because she did not want to pick between her kid and her dog. Her friends soothed her, assuring her that she would be available as a babysitter whenever her friends were busy. With this reassurance, Jenny could rest certain that Scott would always be safe. Jenny gave birth to her daughter, Eva, two weeks later. Scott had already been acting strangely, but after Eva's birth, his conduct became much more irrational. Within the first several weeks, everything seemed to be running well. Scott, who needed both her parents, Jenny and Sam, to take care of her, appeared to relax once they got home. In contrast, she informed Jenny that Scott would not let Eva to sleep alone, and that he would not leave her side 
until they got to work and shared some worrying news. The thought process of Jenny was very baffling. Sam was unconvinced by her explanation when she told him. Scott was only trying to help Eva. He remarked on how lovely it was. Then, one day, she had to separate Scott and Eva. And when she went downstairs to do so, Scott attacked her. Clearly, Scott was too cautious. The actions of Scott warranted a consequence, and Sam was aware of this. Sam reluctantly returned to the vet, who presented him with a decision. The vet suspected something was wrong with Scott, so he had two options. Either transport Scott to a shelter or discover out why Scott was behaving this way. When the vet suggested that Sam and his family were the source of the issue, Sam took offense and left the clinic in a huff. Scott did not have faith in them to leave Eva alone in the bedroom. Sam suspected otherwise, however. Surely he couldn't be the source of the trouble after all. So, he and Eva agreed to keep an eye on Scott for a time. Eva seems to have a soft spot for dogs, and Scott is so in love with Eva that he could never let her go. The trouble was that Scott always seemed to be there when either Sam or Eva went to bed. But when she phoned one day to say that Scott had bitten her, Sam had an abrupt epiphany. It dawned on Sam that Scott's odd behavior had only occurred while he was around. Since Scott was phoning while she wasn't there, he must be the source of the trouble. He was aware of Jenny's admonition to Sam to cool down, yet Sam was still prevented from acting erratically by her. That Venji won't let Eva sleep alone at night isn't the issue, Jenny assured Sam. What Jenny thought of was just brilliant. She requested that Sam set up surveillance cameras so she could monitor Scott and Eva. Eva seems to have a soft spot for dogs, and Scott is so in love with Eva that he could never let her go. The trouble was that Scott always seemed to be there when either Sam or Eva went to bed. But when she phoned one day to say that Scott had bitten her, Sam had an abrupt epiphany. It dawned on Sam that Scott's odd behavior had only occurred while he was around. Since Scott was phoning while she wasn't there, he must be the source of the trouble. He was aware of Jenny's admonition to Sam to cool down, yet Sam was still prevented from acting erratically by her. That Venji won't let Eva sleep alone at night isn't the issue, Jenny assured Sam. What Jenny thought of was just brilliant. She requested that Sam set up surveillance cameras so she could monitor Scott and Eva. A greater number of responses might be expected from this. They could monitor and while they're at work, but they're still wary about Sam putting cameras around the home. If it was essential, she wanted to know. Exactly what precipitated this, if I may ask. For some reason, this seemed quite fishy to Sam. He had little faith in her until she began probing him with questions like these. Sam studied the first few days of tape and saw that Scott was still being extremely protective, but nothing looked out of the norm. Scott was more paranoid about her, and it was clear that he didn't trust her. Sam was planning on confronting him. Sam was in a bind since he couldn't reveal to Jesse that they were BFS. Since Sam worked up such an ire and Bellavet in, this seems likely. When Sam asked, What are you doing to my daughter? He was taken by surprise, and his daughter quickly reassured him that she had no ill will against him. It's impossible to imagine what she might have done. Since Jenny became pregnant, she has not been home during the night, and the dog has been acting like this every time Jenny returns. Because of Sam's direct approach, Jenny became furious. She couldn't believe he was saying her closest friend posed a danger to Eva. Jenny told Sam he had to sort it out fast or get rid of Scott. Just then, Sam had an epiphany. Han had said something that explained everything. The same thing happened at night with G. Although he had previously avoided doing so, he now intends to watch the night video. It all began when Sam activated the program. After a moan of shock, he learned that the recordings were permanently deleted from the hard drive every night. Something really unusual was occurring. But he made the decision to create a new encrypted backup copy of the nightly recordings every day. Sam was resolved to find out what was going on, and he reasoned that Scott must have sensed something that neither he nor Jenny could. 
The following day, Sam was antsy to examine the tape, and when he loaded the recordings, his suspicions were verified. A frightening video was shown depicting the infant's bedroom. Something was coming in through the window, he realized. Sam was so startled that he could really feel his heart racing. A further dive into the film left him even more dumbfounded. The situation was getting out of hand, so he had to hastily dial 911. Sam alerted the police about what he had observed, and they promised to send all available policemen to his house right away. Sam felt he had stumbled across a major discovery, but he couldn't imagine what could have necessitated such a massive police station. Sam had just finished calling Jenny to come home when he heard the first police sirens approaching his house. Jenny also returned to his house. She insisted for an explanation. For whatever reason, when Sam played the clip, she immediately dropped on her knees. Officers studied the clip and immediately began questioning Sam about the family's living circumstances, telling Jenny and Sam they should be proud of their dog. He elaborated on how the officer's curiosity was piqued by the couple's dog and how the dog reacted when they approached her with inquiries. They tried calling the number he provided them, but she was out of the office. Jenny provided them with all the details they need once they inquired further. In the meanwhile, Scott and Evo were in bed together. Once the police had entered the room, she hurried to the wall and began to yell at it. Scott seemed to be trying to communicate with the police about anything concealed behind the wall. They busted through the wall with a sledgehammer without so much as asking Sam or Jenny what was going on. They hauled everything out without delay, even a safe that required the use of a safe cracker. Jenny and Sam were taken aback by the results of a background check that other cops ran on an Anderson at the same time. This person, whomever they were, manufactured their whole existence, as shown by the fact that she cannot be located in a database and has never been officially recorded anywhere. Jenny sobbed, wondering what was in the safe and how this could be happening to her closest friend of ten years. Scott barked at the safe and kept a tight watch on Eva until a safe cracker came. When the safe breaker was finally finished, she noticed a strange odor. The seriousness of the situation dawned on them. The safe contained a plethora of valuables, including cash, jewels, papers, and passports. Jenny yelled out San's name as the authorities opened one of the passports, and they immediately recognized the traveler. They unearthed some of his secret money. They were dealing with an international spy by the name of Elizabeth Holmes, the police captain informed Jenny. It was Jenny who shot the woman who was sought for espionage in 17 different nations. Because Sam is the director of the national security firm, she felt compelled to enter his and Jenny's life. He can access the whole system of national security. He, during the time Elizabeth deleted the tape and attempted to hack Sam's computer, she was likely employed by a competitor to disclose confidential information. Only Scott paid any attention to Elizabeth, and he was the only one who did. In light of this, Benji did her utmost to shield Eva from any potential harm. Officers informed Sam he had reason to be proud of Scott since the dog had solved the case. Finally, they were able to apprehend Elizabeth as she attempted to flee. She saw the cops approaching the home and decided she would not get caught. But when she did and confessed, Scott came to the rescue. Eventually, I and Eva became inseparable childhood friends. Eva's parents filled her in on the whole backstory over time. Since Scott was always watching out for Eva, the two became inseparable. If Sam and Jenny made the same mistake again, they intended to be more selective about who they allowed into their home. Well, at least they had Scott to keep an eye out for them.